What is go. that? <laughs> Alright, today we're brewing up the Sus Ale or the Purple Dragon Ale. We're really approaching the end game now in this series of brewing Dungeons and Dragons beers, where I think there's about four beers left to go. But what's the Sus Ale or the Purple Dragon Ale? It's a fine quality nutty ale from Cormir, which as we know is known as the land of the Purple Dragon. So I've thought a while about what can I do to make this quite exciting because just the fine nutty ale doesn't really sound really too great. I'm gonna go with the standard English pale ale for this, as well that's usually claimed to have some somewhat nutty qualities anyway, but also I just really want to showcase some nice English hops. I want to go ahead and make this purple. Purple? Yeah, purple. Purple dragon ale. Now I'm itching to get into this brew day, it's a really lovely day outside, so let's get right into this. Malt, grain bill, Standard 100% floor malted Marisotta pale ale malt. Bready, malty, nutty quality. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that. I'll go for that. I want a nice simple grain bill that all the other flavors are going to get to stand out on. I'm going to be mashing at 65 degrees for an hour. After around 5 to 10 minutes into the mash, I'm also going to turn on my pump to recirculate the wort to get help with the clarity and also improve efficiency. Once the mash is done, I'm going to raise the grain basket to sparge. We're going to be sparging with around 6.66, whoa, spooky, litres of sparge water that just comes from my hose, and I'm going to semi-eyeball this. Once the sparge is over, I'm going to heat the wort to a boil, and I'm going to dispose of my grain. As for showcasing hops, I want to showcase really English hops. So I'm going to go with some Fuggles, around 21 IBUs worth at 60 minutes into the boil just for the bittering. Then around 9 IBUs of East Kent Goldings at about 30 minutes into the boil for, you know, that mixture between the aroma and the bittering. At 15 minutes left, I'm going to add some yeast nutrient and throw in my immersion chiller to sanitize it in the boiling work. Finally, at 5 minutes remaining, I'm going to add 15 grams of East Kent Goldings and 15 grams of Fuggle Hops, and this is really going to emphasize that nice English hop character. But the pièce de résistance of this purple dragon ale, and this is really what's going to give it that purple quality, is I'm going to be adding about 50 grams of butterfly pea flour at flame out. This will hopefully give it some nice time to infuse and give it that lovely purple color. Butterfly pea flour is a great pH indicator that turns blue in the presence of an alkali and purple in the presence of acid. And since beer is acidic by nature anyway, we're going to hopefully fingers crossed, get that nice purple colour to that beer. Once the temperature has been reached, it's time for us to start transferring our work to the fermenter. Pouring from a height lets me aerate it at the same time. While an aeration stone would be cool to have, it's just extra hassle at this point. Once everything's in, it's time to add our Smack Pack W East 1028 London Ale Yeast. Whoa, say that quickly. Close it up and leave it to ferment for around one to two weeks until it's done. Once it's finished fermenting, it's going to be time to transfer everything to my keg, set it to carbonate before being ready to serve. What is that? <laughs> the doubt in your face. They have got the Suze Ale or the Purple Dragon Ale. And I think, as the colour, Purple Dragon Ale? I think it looks it, and it definitely fits the description. Is it appetising? Hell no. I imagine it's like a sort of, you know, when you're younger and you get like a Halloween party and there's like a funky punch that's like just innocent smoothies with like a fake eyeball floating around it. Kind of purple, but it's kind of blue as well. It's really weird. It's like bluey purple. Yeah, the colour's not too bad. I sort of imagine, see, I, I always have all these really long winded explanations of what I think it is, but I mean it when I say, I imagine you're on like a Hawaiian beach and you just need like a Derek Trotter, you know, <laughs> umbrella and it. like a pineapple piece and then, you know, some great, you know, steel drum music. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. See, for me, that's like a 3 out of 10. That's like, um, you'll try it once, but then not again. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So in a few beers and you're like, go on then, I'll have the big yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. Right, let's have a little smell. Um... 
Yeah, that's... It's not the greatest. It smells like earth and mint. It smells like you found a forest floor and you're smelling that, but with like minty something. <laughs> forest floor. Like it's just very like earthy and very minty almost. And very, I don't like, get the mint. Oh, I'm getting that mint. I guess jelly babies. That's a weird smell. Wait, is that? Almost like a bit of lavender, I think. I think that's English hops though. So I wanted to showcase English hops and I think English hops are just weird. And so I'm gonna assume that's what it is. I think they're usually very earthy and I did put a lot in. Mm. Smell wise, not appealing, I'll admit. All right, let's have a little taste. Oh, scared. Ooh. Oh, oh. It's like there's something on the tongue. Oh, oh, do you know what? I bet you that's the pea flower. I used a lot of pea flower to co uh, color this and I'm guessing it's that pea flower giving that little like, it's like acrid. It's very acrid, I think is the way it's like tannic. It's like, you know when you drink a lot of green tea and then you get that oxidative That's kind of thing? That's a really good way of putting it. It's like you've left your tea bag, your green tea bag in your cup for too long. That's what I'm getting. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, that is probably way too many flowers. But before you get that acridity... Is it good for you though? Vitamins, minerals? No idea. I drink it if it's healthy. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, got beer in there? <laughs> Just before the acridity hits in, I think it tastes really nice. It tastes floral, it tastes sweetish, it tastes quite delicate and quite light. And then that tea feeling, exactly, that sort of tannic thing kicks in. Mm. My tongue dries out and it's just not very nice. It's like if you could take that out, I feel like that would actually be a really, really nice drink. Like there's a nice bit of balance of something there. The hops actually don't taste that awful. Yeah, it's a strange one because I'm starting to like it. Right? Mm. It's like while you're drinking, it's nice. But when you stop drinking and you let the air hit your tongue for about three seconds, that's when it then goes into, oh, okay, this isn't the best. No, I like it. Oh. It started off bad and now it's on one. Well, yeah, I like it, yeah. It's an interesting one. It's I a really, really didn't like it at first though. I was like, what the hell is that? What in your opinion is the worst beer I've brewed? Um, probably that Marmite one. <laughs> Sleeping Dragon Dark one, the oh. New England IPA. It had a cool name and everything, but that was just pure Marmite. Absolutely fair enough. It's not awful. Next time, I'd probably put like maybe a tiny amount of the butterfly pea flower and then add more if necessary. How much did you put in? Oh, the whole tub. How, how big's the tub? 50 grams. All in all, color looks cool. Purple dragon ale? Yes, a purple dragon ale. Mm. Taste wise, okay. Maybe like a... I'd give it a 4 out of 10, I think. I'd give it a 5 out of 10. Yeah. Acrid, not bad, but just a little bit too much of that sort of uh, titanicness thing. Smell wise, a 1 out of 10, though, for me. Yeah? I don't like the smell at all. I'd say again, probably like 3. Yeah. Fair I'd enough. say not again, but yeah. I was going to say 5, but I changed it in my head to 5. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else brewed with pea butterfly pea flower? Do let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please do leave a like and subscribe. Bye! Cheers. Thanks for watching.